<laughs> Welcome to Vlogmas. <laughs> Hello, Vlogmas week two. Let's do it. I don't know if you can hear my ball. I look a mess. I feel like these Vlogmas are going to be the most boring things ever because what can you do when COVID is around really? Like I can't just go pop to whoever's house I want or mingle with whoever I want. So I look like a state. It is like not even nine o'clock in the morning. So I will put makeup on, I promise. Um, but yeah, I look a state, but this is just my life right now really. Do you know when I just feel like, I was looking at my birthday pictures from last year and I felt like I looked like way skinnier than I was and it's just because I haven't put a dress on in so long, like I literally went back on my Instagram because obviously I have a weight loss Insta- Can you not yawn like that please? I have a weight loss Instagram and I thought this time last year I was very like obsessed with my weight and it's not a good thing and this year I'm re I really have changed. Um, but I thought, you know, I'm going to go back and see how much I weighed. And I was only £4 lighter than what I am now. So why do I feel like a stone heavier, please? Hmm? Anyway, I'm not even putting on a dress this year. Because where can I put a dress on to go to, please? <laughs> like, I <laughs> can't do it. But it is what it is. One day I'll get to wear a dress and feel good again. Um, so Vlogmas Sweet 2. Make sure you like, subscribe. It's not going to be that great. Because it never is, is it really? But I'm going to try and make it as exciting as possible. Given the circumstances. So, oh yeah. I'm bringing the little lady. Because she's been... Look at her, how annoying she is. She ruins my vlogs every time. <laughs> um, Yeah, so... Oh god, I do look a mess though. No, god, it's a good job. You all love... I hope you all love me anyway. Um, oh, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm going to try and make it as fun as possible. So we'll make some breakfast together. Maybe go on a walk. Um, I'm trying to think, like, should I take it to B&M, or should we go to Costa, or any kind of drive through because it's about all we can do, isn't it, but we're going to try and be festive, and use these next two days to just get into the Christmas spirit, so, yeah, let's go get some breakfast first, but make sure you do like and subscribe, and join my possibly terrible vlog, who knows? Right, so I thought I'd show you what I'm having for breakfast. So I literally always just have this every day. Like, I never get bored. So I have two of slices of the wholemeal bread. This is 160 calories for both slices. And it's like a big loaf of bread. Um, and I know on Slimming World, you can have two slices for your hex beer. And it's like 30p from Aldi. So, yeah. Two eggs, um, salt and pepper, and then you get your small saucepan. I'm going to show you how. Ignore how many this is, by the way. I would definitely need new saucepans. Um, I'm going to show you how to make poached eggs because I actually do them sick if I do say so myself. So, you turn the gas oven, oh, wrong one, on full, so like that, and just let that like fully boil. And then I usually just put these waiting in the toaster while it's boiling. Like, not in the toaster, but just waiting to pop down. So, we'll do that. Right, so now you can see it's full on bubbling and it. By the way, ignore the state of what I look like. This is my pyjamas. There's my ball. Um, so now I'll turn it right down to like just so it's like on the lowest setting possible. And then I'll pop my toast in. And then I get me two eggs. So like I'll crack the one egg and get it as far down to the water as possible without burning yourself. And carefully pop it in. And then you just want to do the same with your other egg. Carefully down. I can't be bothered with all this whirling crap, like whirl it in the pan, like no. Just do this and add a bit of salt and literally it won't be too long before it'll be done, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Also, having one of these is good to like pick it out and drain all the water, so that's power land. Right, so now my toast is done, as you can see. And at this point, I usually just check the eggs, but you'll know like straight away. I like to just slowly lift them up and you will see like that mm, it's quite a little bit wobbly for me so i'll pop them back in just for a little while longer check this one you can normally see like the whites are quite wobbly when it's not done i have washed my hands by the way um so i'll leave them for literally like probably 30 seconds longer mabel's barking at the builders and yeah we'll check them in 30 seconds i've also got my green tea because i did want a normal tea but i spilled all the sweetener yesterday so it's gonna have to be a green tea until i get some more right it's been 30 seconds and i'd say they're done they're like not that wobbly they're, they're firm on the outside so i know that the center will be nice then i just transfer them over to my bread which i will show you in a sec check the other one Perfect. And I just drain all the water, obviously, as best you can. It all falls out the bottom, which is good. And I will show you what they look like. Right, so this is a real test. 
let's see absolutely perfect i'm trying to get it so you can see it rather than me but yeah literally perfect every time i'm going to put some salt and pepper on eat that and then we'll catch up in a bit guys it's now 12 o'clock and they look exactly the same as i did at nine o'clock i've brushed my teeth had a shower and stuff just put the clothes on my pajamas that i was wearing before because i've decided today is my first day off in a long time where it's just me not kyle not ruby not no one just me and mabel so i want to chill i just want to i had literally had a nap went back to bed like that's just my life right now and i'm gonna watch the grinch on tv make myself a cup of tea i'll show you my lunch when i make that obviously that's not going to be just yet um and today's gonna be a bit of a chill one and then tomorrow is where i will go out um i want a fake tan tonight do my makeup tomorrow and feel a bit more me um so yeah this day of vlogmas is going to be a chill one but sometimes we need that like I don't, i'm not one of these vloggers that wants to go out and spend loads of money and do loads of things because that's just not me um can you hear my ball grinding on a bloody toy um so yeah i just think i'm just gonna chill today um and watch some tv so it's going to be a bit of a crap start to the vlog but it will get better because tomorrow is going to be the day well it will be in the same vlog but you know what i mean um see so i'm going to pop the grinch on have a cup of tea chill for a bit um and yeah Okay, so now it's like half three. Don't ask why I'm still in bed. Well, I'm not still in bed. I, I got out. You saw me get out, but now I'm just chilling. Um, and I thought I'd show you these, what I got. Basically, there was this um, Facebook group. Well, it was um, a website and stuff called Dashens United. And what you do is you get, you can choose how many pen pals you have. You get given the pen pals, um, like obviously just randomised. And like you send them stuff and then they send you stuff. And I got two pen pals and their stuff came. So the first one was Dennis. I'm not being funny, but I can't, like, I can't cope. He is so gorgeous. And literally, they give me this and some stickers and a little dash and badge. And then my last one came today um, off Rolo and Ruby. But they've got a little puppy called Peggy. Oh, Peggy. I actually can't cope. Like, that's going to make me cry. Um, she sent me, like, a massive paragraph. And Mabel got some grain-free, some grain-free rabbit bones. So, she's going to be chuffed to bits with them. Um, but I just think that is just such a lovely thing. Like, pen pals at Christmas and even better sausage dog pen pals. You just don't get better than that, do you? But yeah, I thought I would share that because that's just made my day. And now I'm going to go down and get motivated. Maybe have some dinner. Well, not now because it's half three, but a bit later on. I had uh, a wrap for lunch, but I forgot to vlog it. And yeah, I'm going to have dinner later. Hello, welcome back to part two of Vlogmas week two. Um, today is more of an exciting one than yesterday, even though it's not that exciting. Basically, I'm going to be going to a car park to take some pictures because I've actually made an effort today. Exhibit A. Um, and me and Kyle are going to do a little bit of a mukbang, however you say it. Um, go and get a Macca's and stuff. Basically, for anyone that doesn't know what a mukbang is, because I put it on my Instagram <laughs> today and people were like, what the hell is that? It's basically just YouTube it. It's eat and chat. And that's what I do best, eat and chat. So, we'll just get straight into it. Going to go to a big M&S car park to take some pictures. Because apparently that's the thing that the kids do these days. So, I'm one of the kids. And then finish it off with a little chat. And then I'm getting my nails done at quarter past three. Because look, look at the state of them. Like, they need doing bad. And we're going to do a before and after. So, that's great. And, yes, yeah, so keep watching. Okay, so we've come to take pictures of me in a car park because Insta goals, hey, isn't it? Yeah. This is the things you have to do. Yeah, we could come up here, couldn't we? This bit's, this one's dead. Oh fuck, we're we going up again. Okay, we're we're park we're parking up. Oh my god, we're gonna take some selfies. Right. 
Right, I'm going to get a McDonald's. So, do the window wipers. Um, yeah, I don't think the camera's actually going to stay like this. Like, I've got a cheeky feeling it's going to fall. But we're going to try it because why not? Also, I don't actually know if I'm allowed to have my camera like this. Like, am I allowed to have it just, like, chilling right here? I'm not sure that's actually allowed. But... I'm gonna try a few different positions actually and just see. Right, I think we might be all right with this. It, I don't look actually this huge, but obviously side view's not always great. But should we just go? I mean, I'm just gonna keep the radio on, but copyright is gonna copyright me. So in fact, I'll put my Bluetooth on and then I can dance and put a bit of background music on so none of us gets hurt, you know what I mean? paranoid this is gonna be like <laughs> this is definitely gonna fall on it and plus i don't think you're ready to see my um absolute road rage so at least if it does fall it won't be too bad this is an automatic out of as well so that's always fun people are gonna think who the who the bloody hell is she talking to okay that didn't work it kept falling out but i've got my mcdonald's so basically kyle's not here because um it just allows you to act basically. I'm gonna put it lightly. I've got Diet Coke. I thought, you know what, I'm coming on my own. Basically, he's already had lunch on it, and I haven't, so let's. Oh, right way around. We have. It's not really that exciting, to be honest, because I'm gonna be eating crap all weekend, as I always. Six nuggets, absolute delish. Fries. Um. Cheesy melt dippers and then the dip for those and also sweet curry dip because they're my five. So I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get the chips out first. Yeah, Kyle didn't come, but all the questions you asked, I can just answer for us both, can't I really? Does anyone else do this for that? Is that really trampy? I don't care, I'm hungry. Um so delish. I need a few more chips before I can talk because I'm starving. Mm, mm, mm. Right. Let's do it. Okay, for starters, people didn't know what a mukbang was. A mukbang bang. And it, like even Kyle did. It's like chilling and chatting. I explained this earlier, but just in case you forgot. Um basically, first question, your plans together for the next five years slash Christmas Christmas plans. I'm really sorry if I if it offends you me eating whilst talking, but it's the only way that we could do this so sorry about that um plans together for the next five years i really hope no one can see me doing this because they're going to think i'm some wannabe influencer i'm sorry but it's not ideal um plans for the next five years i'm too close to my food um definitely want a house like mortgage we live at home at the minute like with our parents so he lives with his i live with mine um but obviously we do want to move out so yeah we want to get a mortgage but we don't want to rent because renting i think is just pointless unless that's what you want to do like with the intention of me buying a house uh i think rent's throwing away money kind of thing i thought that woman was going to park next to me now i was fuming um so yeah in regards to that we do want to buy a house so to buy a house i'd like kids in the next five years i'll be nearly how old will I be? I'll be nearly 27. So I'd hope that I would have one, maybe two children by then. Uh, but no rush. The world is our oyster. Um, and just to be in a job that I love as well. Like obviously right now it's such an uncertain time for me with uni and stuff. Like coming out of uni, being a graduate, like not getting a job because of COVID. Uh, I would just love to be in a job that I love that pays well. Like, Obviously, I want to love my job, but I do want a well-paying job. I'm not going to hide that. Like, I'd be stu I'd be lying if I said I didn't. Like, I want to be earning pay. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to get a nugget. Um, but yeah, so that's my plans really: house, job, kids, just the usual. Uh, and we're pretty much on the same page with all that. Um, that's why I think we've lasted so long because we just want the same things in life. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and also Christmas plans. Um. We're at mine this year. Obviously, we can go to 
is it three household so we will pop in and see Kyle's parents um luckily obviously my dad will be there like he doesn't need to see anyone because my, my nan and granddad are going to see my uncle in bath because he's a single household anyway um obviously we're allowed to like three households so it's only going to be like my family my household kyle's household i don't even think there's going to be another household so yeah we've seen kyle's family see my family which i'm really excited about that we can do that uh because that's what we usually do obviously it's my birthday the day after so we're going to be if we can going to the ivy in birmingham and lost and found for drinks and then I should have bottomless brunch on the 27th if it goes ahead. Hopefully it does. And yeah, they're the Christmas plans. I'm really excited for Christmas. I always am. I'm like a big kid. Anyway, let's answer another one. Would Kyle prefer you to do Slimming World or not? Love ya. Love you too. Um, Kyle's not. Oh, I've realised I've got a nugget in there. I'm <laughs> going to get another one. Um, Kyle just wants me to be happy. Like, if that means doing Slimming World, if it means doesn't do Slimming World, like, he just wants me to be happy. I mean, obviously. He, I think he sees the fact I cook a lot and he likes that because he's learnt a lot from food and cooking through me being on Slimming World. Uh, but obviously he would love me to be off plan all the time so we could go out for food all the time and eat like crap all the time but I just, I'm not about that. Well, I say that as I'm stuffing my face but obviously eating healthy is like something I'm passionate about now so I sound like such an idiot. Got to be in my face with Mac as well to say that, but but like yeah, like he doesn't like he doesn't mind. He, it's whatever suits me, and this just suits me. Although, obviously, recently I have been calorie counting, which I found by the way to be amazing for uh, my weight loss because I think doing Slimming World. I'm thinking, please don't park here. Um, Slimming World obviously was amazing, like is amazing, and it's helped me lose all my weight, but. Um, I come to a bit of a standstill with my weight loss and I feel like calorie counting kind of kick started it again because I was eating foods that I wasn't usually eating so eating different things but in a deficit like I seem to be losing I think I've lost like my half a stone that I put on in lockdown which I've been eating bad every weekend so it's working for me Monday to Friday at the moment which is great but yeah let's answer another one how did you stick to Slimming World in the early days um honestly looking back i do not know i think you need to really want the change um um i think the motivation of going to a group really excited me i had my own little book um i could see people around me losing weight at group and like just knowing i could step on a scale it'd be like a three pound loss or something that motivated me filling in my food diary motivated me um i didn't have an instagram when i started my slimming my journey so I can't say it was Instagram, but Instagram is the reason I've kept eating healthy because I feel like I need to only not not for like my followers, but I need to prove like prove to myself I this is me now. I don't want to go back to who I was before, and it keeps me like in control. I feel like I've got people around me that are supporting me, amazing meals on Instagram that I can save and remake. Uh, so there's no reason to eat bad seven days a week because the food that i make feels like i'm eating bad but i'm not because it's just so yum so i think definitely group motivation which was overtaken by my instagram account but obviously now i don't go to any uh, i've kind of got to the point where i've lost my weight i've been at target for nearly two years now um and it has to get to a point where i have to try and live my life with this weight loss do you know what i mean i feel like i'm 21 I can't be dieting forever like it simply won't work so i just need to diet not just not even diet just eat healthy eat a balanced diet and that's all you need to do i think hence why i'm eating mcdonald's right now but yeah i did have another question so i don't need to check my phone um any holidays this year and no next year we've got mexico booked which is a big holiday for us it's 10 days all inclusive in a five star hotel and we booked it because turkey this year got cancelled so we put the money um from that straight into mexico so we had less to pay off um because it's very expensive but 
that's like a big holiday for us it's a big motivating holiday and i want to use january as a time to like really focus on toning at the gym and making myself look like a skinny queen obviously that doesn't start right now um because i just want to feel amazing in mexico the only thing i'm worried about is mabel like obviously mabel will be fine she'll be with my dad and my sister but leaving her for 10 days is is really gonna upset me but i know i can't stop it from like allowing me to see the world kind of thing like my was my life like she's my world but i still want to have times so i can travel with card i'm still young and yeah i wish i could take her is all i can say to that one i finished my speed curry dip and they were tight and only put one dip in so I mean, I have that tangy tomato, so I'll just try that. I'll just use that for now. I need a dip. I can't... Do you, like, use a dip? Like, what dips do you actually use? I wish I'd have had two sweet curries, but I'm not licking the lid of this one because it's not as nice. Favourite thing to do together. This was meant for me and Kyle, but Kyle's a snake, so I'll answer it. Don't you worry, Kyle, hon. Um, just eat, really. We love going out for food. We love having cocktails and just, like, uh, enjoying each other's company. I just love things you can do where you can get off your phone for a bit and like actually have a conversation and enjoy your time. Obviously we're still on our we still got our phones and stuff but like I feel like we put our phones away for, for most of the time. Obviously I take pictures of my food and stuff because that's just me. But like we really like I don't know, just make time for each other. And I feel like you need to do that every now and then in a relationship, don't you? So I would say definitely that. Um going out and stuff. But also just chilling like We've got to the point where we've just been in each other's company. I'd rather be bored. Well, I'm never bored when I'm with Kyle, but if I was bored, I'd rather be bored in his company than not in his company. Do you know what I mean? Um, so anything we do together is just great, really. There was another question about what family traditions will we make when we have our own family at Christmas, which is such a lovely question. And I've never thought about it. I mean... I'd like to get into like a Christmas Eve routine if we're both like in a situation where we're not at work. Obviously Kyle doesn't work uh, around Christmas, but I do. Um, I'd love to do like a Christmas Eve. Obviously, I want to get our kids Christmas Eve boxes um, all that jazz. I don't know. I'd love to do stockings, like start a stocking because we never really had that. Um, but it'd just be nice to start that as like a new tradition. And yeah, I don't know. I'll have to have a think about that. I might move on now. All I can think about is these cheese melts. Right. I need to finish these chips so I can get into them. Does anyone else has, have a specific routine of how you eat in McDonald's? Because I do. Alright. When I have normally my, my ideal meal is five chicken selects, fries, strawberry milkshake, cheese melts. So basically, I will do like I'll have a few chips. Though I've got half chicken select, so it still feels like I've got four and a half because I have. Um, and then I'll just like eat most of the chips and I'll start eating most of the chicken, but I won't touch my cheese melts until I finish the rest of the meal because they're like a side for me. Right, we finished these. Now, my last nugget cheese melts. I am. I'm getting my nails done, which I'm so excited about. Don't need doing so bad, like I was showing you before, didn't I? I got them done the day before we went into lockdown. Um, Mabel, I was going to say Ruby then, Ruby didn't do it. Mabel, like, took off my nail. Not all of it, obviously, but they're my real nails, so she ripped, like, my nail off, basically. I had to file it down. It was tragic. Right, moment of truth. Cheese melt. Oh, God, these are my favourite. Oh, God. I need a moment. They are so nice. I could literally eat them by the like, boatload. I don't think I could ever get bored. Anyway, I'm going to dash now because I've sat here talking to you like a mad woman for about 15 minutes. So, yeah, I'm going to go, go home, go and see Mabel and Kyle, get my nails done, and I'll show you my nails when they're done. So, you're about to see me actual glow up just by my nails. By the way, normal awful fake tan. I don't know what goes on when I put fake tan on. I've tried all the techniques in the world, but it doesn't stick on my palm of my hand, just my fingers. It's it's annoying. It's not that bad in person, but it looks bad like there right now. 
Um, but yeah, so see you in a bit.